Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing two um, journal with I always say two journal with me's, even though I guess technically it's two journal with me's in one video. I don't know. Anyway, um, the first book right here is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkins. Hodgkins or Hodkins? Hodkin. I think it's Michelle Hodkin. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and the second book is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Um, so the two series are completely different, but I thought I would put it together because I did kind of use um, the same green tissue paper that you see I'm using right now in both of them. So I thought it would just be an interesting combination to throw these two journal themes together. Um, the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer is kind of like a, I don't know if it's necessarily thriller. It's a little bit paranormal, which is so different from the books I normally read. And honestly, when I reread this, it's probably the second or third time I've reread it. Um, I didn't really like it that much like I don't know why I liked it so much when I was younger um but yeah rereading it, it I wasn't as big of a fan but I guess it's still a pretty good series um I might reread the next book and the third book um but we'll have to see I'm not entirely sure um anyway uh fun fact though I actually have the first book um in French and in English because I want a giveaway from the author um she was giving away like different foreign editions of her books and I won the French copy which is really cool and she signed it and sent to me sent it to me which is probably why I decided to reread the first book um maybe I should have reread it in French but well it's too late now um and I actually also want a giveaway for the third book um that was a signed copy which was also really cool um so I have two out of three of the books signed so you know I can't really give it up even if I don't like the series it just it's it's too late now um anyway oh maybe it'd be kind of interesting to talk about all the book signings I've been to um I feel like that would be kind of fun so if you guys want to hear like a voiceover um about me talking about the book signings I've been to and the authors I've met definitely leave me a comment down below but anyway um as you can see I'm almost done this first spread here uh I'm just writing the quote which I thought was funny it's something like you're mistaking bitter animosity for hot heartfelt affection um and I don't even know who says it if it's Mara or Noah because honestly it could be both so yeah, anyway, um, uh, fun fact, did I say fun fact already? I don't really know, but anyway, um, I actually used some of the packaging from a, a rep package that I received from Drawn by Leslie. Um, she uses this really pretty vellum with her shop name written on it in her packaging that you can see I'm tearing up right here, but I just flipped it over so you couldn't really see what it was, um, see what was written on it, and then it kind of just looks like, looks like a fancy script font, which I thought was kind of cool, and I thought it made a really good, like, piece to include I don't know I also thought this washi sticker that I'm using right now matched perfectly which is kind of cool anyway I'm just about done with the spread moving on to chain of gold that is the first book in the last hour series by Cassandra Clare it is the spin-off or the series that comes after the infernal devices which if you've been listening to my voiceovers you know that's one of my favorite series of all time um love will Tessa, and gem and the book is actually about the kids of the main characters in the Infernal Devices series. So it was great. I love the first book and the second book just came out this year in like March or something. Um, and I love that book too. There is a journal with me if you want to see that one. I'll try to link it down below if I remember. But yeah, um, this is for the first book. And yeah, I just really love this series. Even though Cassandra Clare has been dragging on the Shadowhunter world books for so long, I just... I can't resist. They're just too good. Um, to be fair though, there are actually a few Cassandra Clare books that I don't love. Um, for example, her Red Schools of Magic series, not the hugest fan. Um, and the Magnus Bane novella, graphic novel type co compilation. Or it's not really graphic novel, but there are like, not cartoons, but like comic type um, pages in it. Um, I didn't really love that either, but maybe I'll give it a try again since, you know, it's part of the series. You gotta love it. Anyway, um, let's talk about what I've been reading recently. Um, right now, I'm currently rereading Akawar, which is book three in the Akatar series. Um, I reread the first and the second book, I'm pretty sure back to back, and then I took a break and read some romance before jumping back into the fantasy world because, you know, sometimes fantasy is just really heavy and you just need a break, you know? Um, so yeah, but the romance series that I was reading before this is the Royal series by Aaron Watt or Aaron Watt. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Watt, like um, Watts of a light bulb or however that works. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, that series, I'm pretty sure um, Aaron Watt is a pen name for two authors and one of them is Elle Kennedy, which I think is really cool because um, I love Elle Kennedy's writing. I love her Briar You and Off Campus series. If you haven't read them, definitely check them out. I received um, some copies of the books for my birthday, which I'm really excited about because even though I can read it online, there's just something totally special and different about reading it in person or not in person, but like with a physical book, right? Anyway, um, yeah, so I read book one, two, three of the Royal series. I haven't read the fourth or fifth book and I will eventually, probably after I finish reading Akawar. Akawar. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I thought that series was pretty good, not as good as her other books in my opinion, um, but the plot twists were kind of interesting and I was like, I was like, what the heck is happening right now? Because it seemed um, kind of unrealistic, but also kind of just weird in general. Um, and the whole story premise was very like Wattpad-y where it was like a girl and both of her parents are dead and now she has to live in a house with a bunch of rich boys and there's like five sons and they're all attractive and you know, you know what I mean? Um, that's definitely something you would see on Wattpad, but you know, it was kind of cool. Um, I definitely will finish the series, but I don't see it as something I would purchase. So if you guys know, I only really purchase a book to own it if I really did enjoy the book and would reread it like multiple times and I don't know if the Royal series is one of those but um, I would definitely say the L. Kennedy um, Briar U and Off Campus series which I've talked about like a million times in this voiceover already um, are ones that I would reread so that's why I asked for them for my birthday. Um, I actually received a bunch of books for my birthday um, which is very exciting so thank you to all my friends and family who gave me books. I was gonna do a book haul but then I feel like I don't know I don't know if anyone really wants to watch a book haul where my face isn't in it. I'm just not really into making videos when they face in it which are usually what booktube video videos are like so I think we're gonna stray away from that for now but I can talk about the books that I got recently um today is actually May 12th and my birthday was quite a while ago um but I'll just talk about it as like a mini voiceover book haul so from um, my friends Charity and Eris they gave me the book The Deal by L. Kennedy my friend Rachel gifted me the book The Mistake by L. Kennedy um what other books did I receive um, for my grandparents, I just placed an order on Book Outlet and they're like, yeah, we'll pay for whatever you want. Um, I got two books from Helena Hunting, which were Meet Cute and The Good Luck Charm, as well as Rebel by Marie Lu and also, um, what was the last one? American Royals. Did I get another book? I don't think so. I think it was those four. Um, and then I actually want a giveaway from a YouTube channel, Mandy Plants, and I received the book Love Boat Taipei, um, which is very interesting. I actually haven't read it yet, so I will get to that eventually. And lastly, from my friend Chloe, um, she gifted me the book It Ends With Us, and I freaking loved that book. It was so good. I'm a pretty big fan of Colleen Hoover, so yeah. Um, as you can see, I'm currently doing the collage spread on the right side of the page. Had to look at my hands for that. I don't know. Can you guys tell your left and right automatically? Like sometimes I know and then sometimes I look at my hands as like uh, prevented, not prevented, like as a to double check or whatever. Also, if you can hear my laptop overheating right now, I'm very sorry. Um, and yeah, that's mostly all I had to really catch you guys up on for this journal with me. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting on all my videos because it really does, um, you know, it makes me happy to see that people are actually enjoying my content. What did I just say? <laughs> it makes me really happy to know that people are enjoying my content. Okay, anyway, I think I'm going to end this video or this voiceover here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because it really does help my channel grow. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!